Hello peeps, this is Sausage Fingers and welcome to Firewatch. Usually I do early access games, but this one is actually finished, so we'll see how it goes. Firewatch is a mystery set in the Wyoming wilderness where your only emotional lifeline is the person on the other end of a handheld radio. Right, I've done all the graphics and all that sort of stuff, so let us do this. Nineteen seventy five. You see Julia. I'm very happy to see Julia. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. <laughs> you're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply, confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you're Julia's boyfriend. I wish it was like that in real life, damn it. I am in a lift. Right, trigger. How to use objects. I am on PC, but I'm using a gamepad. I thought it was something I would get into, just because. Oh, look. My backpack is on. I'm in the elevator or lift. Stuff. Some stuff. It's quite pretty, quite pretty. Truck door. Let's have a little look about first. We found run. We'll take the car, why not, eh? Can I go in here? Is there stuff for me? No. Oh, hang on. No. It's a left hooker, is it? Yeah. Hope he's waterproofed his kit. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. <laughs> There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the shepherd and name him Mayhem. Well, I'm feeling lovey today, so we're going beagalicious. Bucket's a good dog, and a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him, too. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30pm, and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying, I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots... That would be pretty good. One day, why rush? She looks away out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you assure her. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, okay? Okay, one day, says. Six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. This is like an investigate type game, I believe. Um, it's quite pretty. Almost cartoony, but pretty nonetheless. Trailhead. I've got this on Ultra Ultra Graphics. Super Duper Ultra with... Oh, zoom, zoom. Hey, I've got a compass. Cool as chips. Uh, left button, orient. Or orientificate. Lower compass. I'm going down that path. I think that's where I should go. Did I get my bag? Hang on, hang on. Yeah, I got my bag. Let's run. Yeah, this isn't struggling at all. I'm getting about 50 frames per second. It's running really nicely. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad. You ignore her. Um, yeah, let's ignore her. You punk. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. 
She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. That's me. Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> Thanks. What the hell? Am I on Mars? Sun up or sun down? Dun, 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 dun. I'm not sure if the music is going to drive me potty or not, but we'll see how it goes. What's this? I can see a thing. Two forks, fire lockout. Eight miles? Son of a bitch. Hey. 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 Oh, it's getting hot. 1982. It's took him a year to walk that far. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. <laughs> There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. Bye, bear, bye, fuck dog. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You, comf you confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in. Son of a bitch. Kick my dog, you punk. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. This is a lot of goddamn reading. Jesus. 984, plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets off the job at Yale. Yale is a connect... 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Convince her not to take the job. If Agree if she commutes back and forth. Yeah, she can commute. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. I don't know what a semester is. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She's lost the plot. She was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys shouldn't talk to someone about it you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it um, 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 yeah let's do that after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they are worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia she's 41 you both decide to keep it a secret for now it's okay because Julia forgotten anyway this is a deep story it's howling right pick it up my wedding ring are oh do it do it <laughs> is that me <laughs> i'm a sexy bitch bucket is getting older julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house a week later she goes back to university 1987 julia's affliction gets worse she can't she's going to university she's 40 she can't remember things in class, her research is in shambles, she drives a car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you, you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your humble child little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. This sucks. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full... Yeah, smash her into care. Get in there, woman. Am I upset and sad now? Am I? Okay. Let's go this way. I can't go this way. Okay. I'll go up here. I've got this path instead of over the trees. I'm walking about. Doing stuff. Walking. In the woods. Oh, that looks weird. What is it? I need to see that. Whoa. Whoa. What we got there? 
It's a goddamn deer. Have I got a gun? No, I haven't got a gun. That's pretty. Pretty. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. I'm a bit of a dick. You go... You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. <laughs> 1989. Julia's sister, sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by, Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. That was my scary, you take it. Enter the lookout tower. Um, I've, I've had it with reading. Do you know? It's a bit much. It's absolutely stunning, the game itself. And like I say, I've not got... Oh, auto-saving. I've not got a massively great system. But it's running this with with ease. It's lovely. It's well optimised. It's absolutely gorgeous, to be fair. Oh. Look at that. It's absolutely... Oh, there's another watchtower over there. Absolutely stunning. That's why I chose this game. I don't usually play finished games, as it were. I'm usually like ac early access, alpha, beta, that sort of thing. But this just... I don't know. I don't, this really appealed to me for some reason. Let's get in here. Turn on the power. Turning on the power. Is this my little house? Hello, this... <gasps> Tower. I'm not saying hello yet. I want to open it. Oh, you're going to make me pick you up, aren't you? Pinecone! Pick up. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Put back. Okay, I'll pick it up. I know you're there. Your lights are on. Oh. Hold left. Let's turn the lights off. <laughs> you can't see me now, can you? Okay. Hello? Oh! Um, hello? Whoever this is? Your lights aren't on. Yeah, uh, no. You can see me? I can see all the lookouts. It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Right, reply. Uh, 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 uh. Um, you've killed three ex-husbands. Okay. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Heck, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's... Gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. Sounds like a bit of a hussy. Day one. Daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. 
pick up the radio. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yep. Okay, yep. yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I just, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Confirm what Delilah is seeing. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Ooh. Go down there and set them straight. Okay. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. <laughs> what? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Even I should remember that. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> Grab my stuff. And then that'll be the end of the first episode. I can't pick up my bag. Oh, I can. Get it on the way out. We're going west. This was a brief inch. That's a nice little thing. Right, this has been a nice little brief introduction to Firewatch. I hope you enjoyed this one, peeps. It looks good so far. I'd love to be able to get into this game. Uh, I need to go west. Is my compass actually doing stuff? Yeah. Oh, zoom in. Cool. Uh-oh. I think... I think there's going to be trouble, peeps. I think there's going to be trouble. Oh, cache box 306. Okay. Oh, I've got to go that way. All right, we'll go... Yeah, we'll keep going west. It's along this path anyway. Once I've got that rope, I'll be off. You can still hear those fireworks in the background. Yeah, this is really pretty. I don't know if you get night time yet. Just... Don't know, do we? We just don't know. Go on, over you go, son. Hey, it won't. Do I have to? Do I have to lower my map and everything? Do I? Yeah. It's only a little tree. Am I nearly there? Yeah. I want to see what this... Yeah, look. Cache box. We found it. Get a bit of rope. Get rid of that. Yeah. One. Three. Two. Three. What are you doing? Oh, this is touchy. map copy information yep we'll have all of that map updated sweet that's a nice touch as well old rope we'll have that old rope 
What I'm waiting for is the auto save type icon. Can I pick that up? Yeah, we'll have that. Um, can't I put it in my bag? No, nah, put it back in. We'll leave it there. What are all these poxy pine cones for then? Let's shut this door. Yeah, going to leave it there, peeps. There's been a lot of reading in this one, but it's still been pretty good, to be quite fair. That's a bit of background story, I presume, so we can sort of fall in love with the character. All that sort of kit. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. I have. Give us a like and a subscribe. See you next time. Laters.